Well, Mr. Wonderful is back. Let's welcome to the show the chairman of O'Leary, O'Leary Ventures. He's Kevin O'Leary. Kevin, it's good to see you again. Okay, this is a new line of attack from environmentalists and co- climate change activists. They're hitting U.S. oil and gas in the pocketbook. More than 140 climate change groups just sent a threatening letter to insurance companies warning, you better stop insuring liquid natural gas export terminals or we will stage demonstrations, protests and rallies outside your offices where you work. We're going to do reputational risk to the insurers. What do you think of this story? This narrative uh, is going to be challenged in this next presidential election. It doesn't matter if you want to chain yourself to a fence or do a protest. Our country needs energy security and independence. Everybody's now figured that out, particularly since we've watched what's happened in Europe after the Ukrainian war started. And so it's a top three election issue. It's never been as much an issue as it is today because we need to find ourselves in a place where we're independent, and that's the only way you get secure. So I guess they feel threatened by that, but the majority of Americans have figured out you cannot have prosperity without energy. It doesn't matter what side of the political fence you are, how progressive or how conservative, energy is the core anchor to prosperity. And we're going to have to start focusing on that over the next 18 months for new policy on energy. And that's what I plan on investing in. That's the new focus, because I now feel the time has come that we're going to be definitely investing in energy here in America. Okay, so here's the deal. The Biden White House ramped up liquid natural gas exports to Europe to replace lost exports out of Russia into Europe. And we got to take the other side of the, of the what the coin is, what they're saying. The activists, the, they're saying the insurers are helping the oil and gas industry to do extensive property loss, pollution, erosion of beachfront, damage to coastal habitats and more. What do you make of that side of the of the argument? So we start we have to start bringing a new narrative to the market. I mean, making claims like that are baseless and that they're just not factual. You can have your own opinion, but you can't have your own facts. Now, here are some facts. We haven't built a new refinery because it's no good just taking oil out of the ground. You have to refine it into usable products. We haven't built one in America since 1977. Fact two, the new technologies and refineries, many of them are carbon neutral. Fact three, until we stop importing oil from foreign countries, we will never have energy security or secure prosperity. Fact four, we can now build new refineries with really good returns that are attracting investors from all around the world in states like West Virginia, North Dakota, Oklahoma, and Texas. I am planning on investing in those states and building refineries that are under the 50,000 per day uh, barrels per day that are under the EPA, which is, in other words, we can get them permitted. And Right now on the air, I'm going to invite Alex Soros to invest right beside me. He should support these green initiatives. This is good for America. I'll make room in it for him in the cap table so he can be part of this initiative to make our country secure and a, with a green mandate. I'm the first investor that actually graduated from environmental studies, the first cohort. I understand this. I understand the narrative. And I know that there's a lot of misinformation floating around. I plan on changing that. I think we heard a phone call. I think Alex is trying to call you right now, Kevin O'Leary. I don't think that phone's going to be ringing <laughs> off the hook for you, but will, will you tell us if he does call you? We'd love to have that story. I think he should, cons- he should consider it. These are penciling out at north of 15% for 25 years. There's plenty of capital interested, and I will build these refineries, and everybody's going to want these okay. because we need independence. You will build them, and we will come. Maybe. Kevin O'Leary, thank you so much. It's good to see you. 